Two wins, two losses, and two DNPs. That is not what I was looking for yesterday, but I'm done with it now. We are getting back to our roots in this video. Today is Tuesday, July 25th. You're gonna have some tacos later today. Don't forget about the tacos, but first, like, subscribe, notification bell, follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. We're back with six plays for today, and they're all going less. We're going back to cheering against everything. Six less than plays right now. First one on the board, we are going to the Reds. We're going less than seven fantasy points for Matt McLean taking on the Brewers on the road. So this one doesn't get the benefit of Cincinnati's park, although a decent hitter's park either way for Milwaukee. But Corbin Burns on the hill, 3.5 projected FIP, a righty righty matchup for McLean. And McLean is at best a league average hitter. This spot feels pretty good for a less than 64% of the time, in fact. Oh, but we are not done with the Reds. We're also going less than eight and a half fantasy points for Ellie De La Cruz. Everything that I just said about McLean is the same here. You're getting Corbin Burns on the road in Milwaukee. Now, you do get the lefty-righty spot for Ellie De La Cruz because he's a switch hitter, but I don't think that matters all that much. 3.7 run implied total for the Reds today. That's not very good. And while Ellie De La Cruz has been outstanding so far this season, a little bit above the head of most projection systems. Eight and a half is too high. 62% of the time we go less than. Another good hitter in a tough spot against the pitcher, Luis Arias is up. Line is set at six and a half. We're going less than that 63% of the time. On the road, taking on Tyler Glasnow. Glasnow, when he is healthy, is exceptional. A three projected FIP, 3.01 if we wanna get super technical. Now it is a lefty righty spot for Arias, but that's where the benefits end. 3.1 run implied total for the Marlins today. This is as bad of a spot as Luis Arias is gonna face other than just simply getting a lefty. I'm gonna bet on the pitching talent for today. We're going less than six and a half at 63%. All right, I know how this one's gonna feel. We're going less than on Shohei Otani. He might be uh, 50 and 0 when I take the less than. Uh, we've gotten him a couple of times at this point, but we're doing it again here. Line set at eight and a half. 61% of the time he's gonna go less than Taking on the Tigers, Erod on the hill. 3.7 projected FIP. Erod's legit. This is a lefty-lefty spot for Otani, and you can see how legit Erod is by looking at the implied total. 4.1 run implied total for the Angels here against Erod in Detroit. That is not all that much to write home about at the end of July. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that Shohei Otani doesn't hit the inevitable home run that he hits because as long as he doesn't do that, I'm feeling good about it here. You guys should feel pretty good about signing up for prize picks if you've never done it before. Link in the description. You'll get up to $100 on your first deposit and one month of our Odd Shopper Pick'em package. Now, that will help you for prize picks and other pick'em sites. That would be my recommendation to you guys. Try to find out a couple different sites if you can. Odd Shopper Pick'em is going to help you out there. Take a market-based approach to beating these sites. You'll get multiple, and you'll get all of the data, expected value and expected win rates in a table so you can quickly get your plays and get them locked and loaded. Shohei Otani was not my only angel. Taylor Ward also available here for a less than. Line set at seven. 57% of the time, Ward is gonna go less. Same exact matchup. It's Erod, 3.7 projected FIP. Taylor Ward, 355 Woba. Taylor Ward is a really good hitter, and this is a righty-lefty spot. Most of that looks good for Ward. It just so happens that I like Erod a little bit more than I like Ward, and this line is just a little bit too high. It wouldn't surprise me if the Ward play fell apart if this line rises throughout the day. But my guess for right now is that it stays where it is. And if that's the case, we got to lean on Ward. Finally, we close it out on the opposite side of this game. Spencer Torkelson, we're going less than six and a half fantasy points. That one happens 60 percent of the time. Now, the Tigers are at home but they're facing Griffin Canning. Griffin Canning is an above average pitcher, a four projected fifth. There's a 4.3 run implied total in this game. So it's not as if the Angels, or sorry, it's not as if the Tigers are expected to put up massive amounts of runs either. And Torkelson is, at best, a league average hitter. Another spot that I think is primed for a less than. So we are back to our roots, six straight less. McLean, less. De La Cruz, less. Arias, less. Otani, less. Ward, less. Torkelson, less. Those are the six less than plays that get us back where we need to be. We need to harness the inner negativity that we have. This is the way that we do it. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Get that money in your account for tomorrow. We're back.